Okay, so I, I just want to pray really quick before we go any further. So Lord, I just thank you that you are in us, that you want us, you want every bit of us, even more than we know, more than we want you, Lord, even when we want you at our most desirable times, Papa. I just thank you, Jesus, for what you've paid for and Holy Spirit, that you are the glue that holds us all together, leading us and guiding us and opening things and just inviting us into deeper things, Lord. You're always inviting us to know you more, to know you more for all eternity. And that's what we want. So God, I just thank you for gateways that are lining up tonight. God, for miracles, for miracles in our bodies, Lord, miracles where we've been hungering for breakthrough. God, I just, I just say yes and amen to your plans and purposes for this meeting tonight, whatever they may be. We just say yes and amen to it. Um, yeah, thank you, Papa. Thank you that we are born from above. Born from above. And every time we see you, we transform more and more into your likeness. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so I think let's just go to, to number three, Rob. Yeah. Yeah. So this next a, one. Do you want to introduce a friend who worked on this? Yes. So this is... Um, this one was actually produced by an awesome, awesome young man named Zach Davies, who is really just starting to get a handle on production, but he's in his own band. He's phenomenal, um, lives around the corner and, and uh, produced it, a CD for another friend of mine. And that's how I found out about him. And so anyway, um, this is one that he worked on with me and I wish he was here tonight and I could introduce you to him, but He's probably got a gig or something, you know. <laughs> but cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they each have a totally different feel too. So just, just be free to totally absorb. Yeah. Immerse. Okay. Run this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. In the womb of the one who's already birthed and rebirthed me time after time again. Perception ever expanding and trust growing blinder while I double down on the way toward the wind. Strength will 
Uncover every flaw Until the energy of grace is all you are And never let go of your hunger To stand before my face It is a sacred obsession Stephen. <laughs> yeah, Stephen was rocking it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, you like the, yeah, Shane. I <laughs> see you. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you guys. Very cool, Jen. Yeah, please unmute if you want. Yeah, thank yeah, you, yeah. Janine. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I left awesome all the fans in that. It was back. awesome. It was, yeah. It kind of it took on a, good, a whole different thing. Yeah. It's a good vibe on it. It was good. Yes. 
That made me want to pull pull out my drum. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Very tribal kind of. Yeah, there's some great tribal we'll back. coming up as well. If you like yeah, to there's out, some then. more of that. That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kick off big time. Nice. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Jen I, Jen, I remember from the first time you let me get a just qu just a quick sneak preview of that, and I was I was just completely blown away by by, by that. And it's like, and, you know, and it's just the simplicity of that of you know that that acoustic riff too. It's just so much space. Oh my gosh, mm. so much space for for you know for just the for the Lord you know the God to do whatever, and it was just wow, wow so thank you yeah, yeah it mm -hmm. literally felt like the song you know it was just seeds it was like i could just see these seeds falling on fertile ground when he is giving me the he gave me all the lyrics for this whole album okay so it's literally this stuff just dropped so it's like this one as it was coming it was like that's what i was seeing and it was just like seeds and just life you know so I'm excited. I'm so excited for what he's doing right now. It's just so cool to be alive at such a time, you know, so much exploding in a, in a good way. It's kingdom, you know? So, yes. Awesome. Ah, oh, thanks, Janine. <sighs> Love you. Okay, so this next one is kind of crazy. It was, it was kind of a, um, a surprise for me because this started as one of the oldest it was like the very first song I actually tried playing playing with Logic Pro which is the DAW that it's just the DAW that I use it's the, how I, where I create the songs and um, I was just playing with instruments other than my typical piano or guitar and it was just having fun you know creating beats and you know adding funky instruments and stuff like that and so I just had it set to the side I had a I had a song for it. I sang and everything, and then I was just like, "eh, that's a two minute thing." You know, that'll be you know cute to look back on someday. And then I came back to it as we were halfway through the album, and I just said, "I think I need to send this to Rob." So I shot it over, and he just like took it apart and stretched it out and twisted it and added some stuff, and it was like it had this whole new life on it. So um, it turned into kind of this kind of a pop vibe. But um, yeah, it's awesome. So it's just called Love Storm. It kind of, honestly, it kind of flows right really well from conception because then the rains come, let the seeds fall and then the rains come. <laughs> okay. So yeah, feel free, feel free to hop in the chat if you're getting anything or if you want to share anything. And if you guys have to leave, you have to leave. You know, I'm not, I'm not offended. So <laughs> I love you all for being here. You guys are so awesome. <laughs> Okay, she'll run. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Okay.
Sweet. <laughs> yeah. I love the rain at the end. <laughs> yeah, it just felt right. It just felt like it needed something like, you know, let it experiential, you know? But yeah, uh, so you guys love guitar, drums, like this is all Rob. All the electric guitars, except for Conception, that one song, everything on the album is has been Rob. And then he's also done a lot of the drums and a lot of extra automation. So yeah, he, it's been like an epic collaboration and as well as his excellence that's, you know, pulled out all the gold from from every song. So, yeah, honor you, Rob. Uh, thank you, thank, thank you. you. And if you guys don't know Rob, he also has a collection of albums that are really phenomenal albums to just sit down and just go into prayer or go into meditate, just be with the Lord. And um, yeah, his music is just phenomenal. So I highly recommend it's, you know, his instrumentals. So highly recommend that if you're just getting into some open prayer time where you're just waiting on Papa and just enjoying being in oneness with the Lord. So yeah. yeah thank you. Um, yes. And you guys are all like loving the dance. I see so many comments about the dance. It's so good. Thank you, Angela. That's so powerful. The Holy Spirit is so strong on these songs. Incredible breaker anointing. Wow. Thank you. Yes. So as far as the dance goes, um, these next two songs, feel free to turn off your camera if you want and just go for it because these two songs are kind of written in a way where they flow right into each other and they are truly full on freedom dance anointed songs um the first one is it's tight the first one kind of flows into the second one so when the lord gave me the first one i had just been reading um song of solomon once again go figure <laughs> but it was where um where the king where it's almost like the king is peering through the lattice and he's looking on his lover and he's saying show me your face and let me see your eyes let me see let me hear your voice and um, it's all about this gaze. And so that's what I was reading when I went into this moment with the Lord, this, this just time of union with God. And I saw Jesus looking into my heart in like this really, really deeply penetrating way where it was like, from what he saw inside of me, it brought me freedom. And it showed me more of who I truly am because of the way he was looking at me. It was like, there was no, obviously no condemnation, no, you know, none of this stuff. But when you see it firsthand like that, it just like becomes written on your soul. When you see his face looking at you that way, like full of 
pride and pleasure and joy and like you are it you know you are it you are exactly what he created and it's just like he doesn't he sees through the lens of such uninhibited love that it's like when you when you catch a glimpse of that gaze it just it's it shakes you you know it shakes you because we get so caught up in our like regular thought life that's not great you know or we get caught up under criticism or under whatever you know but um Jesus does not see that at all and so anyway that's where this song kind of was birthed from it's also got one of my good well, he's not a good friend of mine but I really love listening to his stuff it's a guy named truth Sika with an h on the end <laughs> but he's amazing he interviews a lot of people and he's really bringing a um, bridge to a Christian community that I feel like personally otherwise gets disregarded. So his humility and his level of um, openness is really different. And I admire that about him. So um, anyway, he's on the, he's, he does a rap on this song and it's really, I love it. So yeah, once again, just be free to completely immerse, um, throw your feedback in the chat and, um, if you want to turn off your screen so you can go wild. <laughs> All right, so this is gazing. And then drenched is, is really quick. Drenched is gonna come right after. I feel like they just need to flow right into each other. And um, drenched is just basically the response. So it's like gazing is about that see, feeling his gaze penetrate your heart in that way. And then, and then drenched is like, what do you do? you respond with like your fullness back you know so yeah so let's do it okay here we go <laughs>
darkness in which we are sin. Never be trapped back here again. Stuck in the sight of conscious sin. Christ is the light, the light of men. A gift to upgrade that consciousness. Everybody stumbles, everybody falls. Everybody stand up, answer the call. Answer the ball, be like Paul. Drive by fire, this profit the ball. When the stars sing, I heard their song. Put it on my heart so I can sing along. I can see the day, the day that will dawn. Brightly shine in the early morn. Morn no more, learn no more. Gloriously be restored.
temperature is rising Holy ghost is seeping through my pores Yeah, yeah, yeah This treasure's for the finding No denying we can taste and see
Did anybody turn their camera off and dance? <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jen, I feel like your songs and your sound is just redefining beauty altogether. Oh, wow. Literally, um, I've seen... <laughs> <laughs> this is Anka Johnson, one of my absolute besties and one of my biggest encouragers too. If not for Anka, I probably may have not contacted Rob. So yeah, thank you. <laughs> You're awesome. I, I just want to share um, is your your first song, The Gazing. All I could see, and, and, and it might be a bit um, strange, but um is brown's eye that takes us back to egypt and a lot of people think that the eye represents something else but the eye represents is um what one faith one one consciousness mm. one sight uh, like paul was saying mm. i will only uh, preach christ and christ crucified yeah and that very one eye is just the one consciousness of Christ and Christ crucified. And yes. seeing through that bronze eye into the beauty of Egypt and how Egypt was and the, the wow. beautiful women and men but still constrained. And then coming back through the same eye of Christ and Christ crucified, fullness of life, you're literally redefining that controlled beauty into a free beauty, free for all. The ones that might understand, might not understand Christ, but they can see it. It's, you're Amen. literally just changing everything, your sound and your words. It's redefining the whole beautiful thing. Thank you, Anka. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, and then as you're saying that, I'm just reminded of Jesus saying, if your eye is single and full of light, then your whole body is full of light. And yeah, yeah. He's, he's continuing to redefine us until we look exactly like him. But um, yeah, thank you guys. Thank you so much you know, for sharing. Dolphy too. Bertles written a song on uh, gazing as well. I know he came out with that album after I wrote. I was like, no, <laughs> but it's great. His, well, it just, it just means you're on the same so, page. God speaking exactly. to everyone. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so beautiful. <laughs> wow, I didn't even realize how how much this this album really flows because the next song, this song ended with. Um, we're shooting through the stars. You've opened up my heart into a new dimension. And the next song is called You Are. And I just have to give a backstory on this one because this was from another dimension. Um, I'm not gonna tell the whole thing because it might be too much for some people, but um, the Lord, I was basically in a, in a moment of prayer and the Lord took me into a place where he showed me a, a garment, a robe of the knowledge of the glory of the Lord. And as he showed this to me in all of its detail, immeasurable, like incountable detail, there were these just legions of angels who were singing, you are, you are, you are, just constantly singing and embedding tools and understanding and wisdom and language and creativity and things that I don't even I don't even have words for into this garment and the Lord was showing me it is us it's it's what we wear as the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as more as we become more like him we know him more through worshiping him and just laying every moment before him we get to see more and we get to become more and we are becoming the knowledge of the glory of the Lord that is covering the earth as the waters cover the sea. And so that's where this song came from. So it's, it's, it's hard because 
my voice is singing it, but if you can just imagine, it's like this angelic realm <laughs> and it's the Lord. It's not hard to imagine. <laughs> And if not for this man, this would not have happened at all because, yeah, everything, everything, the support, but most of all, getting the kids out of the house so I can record in my little, this is my studio right here. <laughs> There's our living room. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're the best. <laughs> so uh, thank you, Rob. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. If you want to play that one. next one, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, for me, this is the most powerful track on the album, and because it's not, it was never for me. It was never so much about the instrumentation or the or the production. It was about the voice and the sound that was coming out of Jen's voice when she sent me the original demo. There was just something on it, um, and it goes for all of us that what comes out of our mouth, that breath, that sound, that frequency is so important and so powerful on its own regardless of what whatever else you add to it and so for me this track it was important not to don't get don't have get anything in the way of the voice because it's all about the voices and i encouraged you again to add more layers just to build it up because there, there's so much weight behind behind this track for me so um yeah i hope i hope you um <laughs> you feel it as much as i do <laughs> okay
Definitely a tubular bells uh, kind of uh, vibe there. <laughs> and uh, I can think there's a there's a water fiend coming through. <laughs> yeah, just a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> yeah. 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 Excellent. Really good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Yay. It's awesome. I see so much amazing feedback on on Facebook too. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. It means so much. I can't tell you. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful for all the support and encouragement and for literally every experience that has like opened it up, you know? So, and there's more, there's a flow happening and I know it's, it's just going to, there's, this is, all of us, you know, it's all of us who are op walking into a new, there's something new he's opening up. It's, you can see it all around the world and it's just a wild time to be alive. Mm. And I'm just so thankful for every single one of you. It's so cool to, to walk on the planet at the same time as people who are all running together like this, like just <laughs> running, running and flying really, you know, it's like, there's just so much happening at once and and it's just going to continue he's just going to keep on transforming and transforming and transforming oh i'm so glad you guys are enjoying this amazing <laughs> um yeah there's literally only two songs left on the album so um is there three? Oh, am i wrong <laughs> i might be wrong <laughs> yeah, yeah oh that's it okay so yes I'm skipping a very important one. So um, this next song is just a really worshipful song um, that just came out of just learning more about his name, like experientially learning more about the name of Yahweh. And um, he's really been opening up the Hebrew letters to me. And I never really understood before um, this past year and a half or so, but over the last, and I haven't been studying them, but it's just amazing how deep and rich every letter and every word that I have come across is. It's just, it's truly incredible, truly incredible how much depth there is to every single letter in the Bible. It's just incredible. So just the name of Yahweh alone has endless, endless depths in it. But um, this song is just worshipful singing his name and and um towards the last half of the song it kind of becomes a meditation and so if you're not familiar with those hebrew letters it's yahweh is made of, of four letters it's the yod he vav and he they don't have the vowels in between so um and they each represent very important things but i'm just going to just briefly share so you can actually engage what they are as we listen but um, Yod basically represents God and it looks like a dot, but when you turn it to the side, it's this endless, endless realm. And um, Ken was just showing me a, a clip that he found. Was it on TikTok? Something that came up and it was basically the so showing the solar system. And we see it as this sun in the middle and the planets all going in their orbit. But really, the sun is on its own track and the planets are all going around it. And we saw it that way. It was like I saw the yod in that, you know, but that's basically what it is. These endless realms of his personality, his character, his depths, his, the riches of, of God. And then the hay represents um, several things. But in this case, I'm just going to say breath. So it's almost like God, breath, and then the vav. I'm just going to say represents man. It represents many things, but it's um, like a tent peg is another way that they look at it. So basically the connector between heaven and earth. And so um, it's also the number six in Hebrew. So that represents man in a lot of different ways. So um, it's the yod, hey, breath, then man, vav, hey. So it's like this consider each one as you listen and just see what he will do as you just join in and sing it's really easy to catch along with it if you want to and just breathe with it and um let the spirit of life that that fills us up and empowers our mortal bodies just continue to engage every cell every fiber and um my prayer is that that as people go 
into these songs as they as as we open up even myself as we continue to open up that healing will come miracles will come signs and wonders will show up that we're just going to engage the things that he's dropped because like i said he's dropped these so he's just dropped them in, like into my hands so anyway so this one is called yahweh and it's a little bit it's the longest one so just settle in for it and um enjoy Crying out 
you guys we got a video coming for that one soon too so yeah. triple whammy <laughs> <laughs> oh yes thank you lord thank you lord for who you are and the ways that you reveal yourself I don't want to speak too much after this. Um, and I'll the next song kind of. I'll drop in with a little something is that 
ideally we were, we were initially planning to get this finished at, uh, but maybe about three months ago weren't we that was the kind of the target the target time we were aiming for um but i think the more we delved into the music and the songs it's the last two the last three months it basically went up another level didn't it it just started being like a living thing it was not, wasn't just a set of songs and and a voice and mute there was something that was coming out of it so the deeper i got into it the more it would speak to me and the more would be revealed from it it was just a i don't know just an incredible experience you know we could have quite easily signed it off a few months ago right that's done but it wouldn't have been the same it wouldn't have been at the, as deep as it is at the moment it's just i don't know it's, there's yeah. something living in this you know it's just remarkable how it's all come together amen <laughs> yeah the lord yeah it's been amazing it's been amazing it's been amazing and i know the timing and everything is is in him you know so it's been exponential what's happened it's almost like it's marinated in something you know and um yeah the flavor is exponential because of it so very cool um the next the next one is called creation's invitation and it's kind of like linger in the way that it just speaks for itself and um yeah i could see this one really bringing peace and um, that sense of, of just rest and the ability to just be in the moment. Because um, it, this one came, the lyrics came as I was in that place and I was just outside alone and I was just completely immersed in what he's made for us to enjoy. And, um, and then, you know, it was like the same day or the next day, I just sat down at the piano, it just, it just came right out, what I had written came right out. So that's what this one is. Yeah, for me, it's also like a lullaby as well, because there's, there's just a softness to this, there's, there's a sweetness to it. It's like, it's like it's God's, God's lullaby for the broken or things that are broken, just inviting you mm. in, into that space and into that into that depth of who he is you know <laughs> okay mm, yeah Promise 
Mm. I see you, Rob. I feel you. <laughs> ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you guys. Thank you, Janine. We really appreciate all this feedback, you guys. It means so much. Mm. Well, the next the next song is um, the final song, and um, it's. I feel like it's my fa It is my favorite. I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> But this one, um, this one was like a wild experience. I was up in the middle of the night and this melody was just running over and over in my mind. And finally at about four o'clock in the morning, the Lord said, you better go down and do this now or you're going to lose it. You know, I just felt that. So I came down and I just started playing this, um, Celtic kind of sound on the piano and by the time the kids came down at 8 a.m to start getting ready for school and getting breakfast and all that I had basically composed this entire cinematic kind of piece and um, I don't know how many layers there are in it but it was just like as soon as one was in I went to the next one and just kept on going so it was probably the most messy of all the things I sent to Rob <laughs> because I, I don't even think I fixed any wrong notes or anything um, but the day that I the day that I recorded it all I sent it to Anka hey bestie <laughs> and she immediately got a poem if you guys don't know Anka writes incredible poetry there are I mean Poetry in itself is just incredible, but hers has layers that if you know certain realms of the Lord and being in his heart and certain things about the Hebrew letters and certain things about, you know, the spirits of God and just so much richness of her walk with the Lord, her personal depths with Yahweh are in her poetry. And so when she and it can seem very obtuse if you're not if you're not in some of those places but my goodness the more you listen to her stuff the more you will understand what's in between the lines and what's in between the pictures and the poem that she wrote when she got this song immediately i was like yes this was written for you and um and i i saw there's more to it but we'll wait on that we'll let the lord unveil all that but this poem, as soon as she sent it back to me, it was just like, it hit me, you know? And, um, and of course I shared that with Rob and, and we're like, do you think we, we could get her to do it? And, and we asked and she said, yes. And so this is her voice speaking with the frequency of what she carries with the Lord, which is incredibly powerful. I just want to encourage you to open yourself up to, to receive and, um, and it's just layered over top of this epic piece of music. And um, and the end of this one, we've got our whole family singing at the very end. So it's kind of an anthem and it represents the family of God to me. And I just see the children of the Lord running to him and the Lord running to us and this like explosion of family on this one and true union with him and his purposes for us so this is called the joy and thank you Anka oh did you want to say something no just the the live stream has stopped oh so trying to oh sorry get that back up in the line. sorry it's okay <laughs> bear with me everybody <laughs> We go. Sorry, guys. Yeah. <clears throat> While you're just figuring out things there, technical. Yes. Um, 
I just want to say that what you guys have created, Jen, Rob, and all the people who have shared their whole being and the time and the effort and everything that they have is, is not just phenomenal. Um, it just creates even more. Um, I, Janine was speaking in creative space um, a few weeks ago and she said, by creating something, you're actually making more space. Mm. Um, so when our father created everything, he redraw himself to make space for all of wow. us to have our own being. So although he created something new, he still made the space for us to live within the, 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 the fullness of himself. And I, I do feel like you guys have created something that made space for more. Um, it's, it, you inspired me, you inspire me all the time, Jen. Yeah. And Rob's work is out of this world. His, the way he handles sound and the depth and the darkness, the mystery of, of, of his, um, the way he, he does everything, it's, it's just, I've never heard anything like it. And I definitely I recommend to, to listen to Rob, but gosh, the Lord bringing you both together is phenomenal and I believe just by listen, listening to your songs Jen a lot of other people will be so much inspired because you've made space for us to dream yeah you yeah. literally gave yeah. us the go ahead to dream for more it's possible it's all of this is tangible so thank you so much <laughs> thank yeah. you it I just wanted to say, Jen, um, I just really think it's no accident that Ken was wearing a Doors t-shirt because this <laughs> album is going to open some doors. And I just really feel this, this, this product you created, for want of a better word, is a really what I would call like a crossover product. And I can see um, some non-Christians listening to this or non-believers as it were and actually coming to the lord through experiences oh, as wow. they're having because it is yeah. a is a type of i don't know what to call it but you know a type of music <laughs> that can basically awesome. reach um you know the secular market if you like and i think uh, there's a real gap in the market for that to uh you know I would call you a, what I would call a crossover artist is that you cross over from one camp to the other, basically. And I think for too long, you, you know, the Christians been over here and the secular has been over here and never the twain will meet basically, you know, but I think God is doing a new thing. And I thought, think, uh, Annika, you hit the nail on the head and saying there's can you, you creating connections. And I really believe that, you know, some of those connections are with people and they're not even walking with the Lord at the moment, you know. But after they listen to this, you know, that, you know, they could be, do you know what I mean? And I just really yeah. feel like, you know, the, the, just the doors are going to be open and it's going to, you, you, you are going to see this go up another level. Um, and so it can be kind of like you're doing your own little thing and know you're about to go to Puerto Rico and just do that, you know. But this, in, in a sense, could kind of take over all of that if you're like, you know, and so you could be finding yourself traveling around all over the place. Wow. Um, so it's just because I just really believe what you've got is, is very commercial uh, aside from anything else. I know we shouldn't talk about things like that in Christian <laughs> needs and all that sort of stuff, but it is, you know, it's in, and, and I think God, God blesses the, the anointing and the giftings that we carry. And that's part of the, I think it's part of the prophetic. And I think for too long, the prophetic has kind of been locked into this kind of tight thing where you can only every, everything is thus says the Lord. When actually God, God can, you know, like I believe it's prophetic. You're wearing a doors t-shirt. It's just like, you know, <laughs> what, what's that got to do with anything? Nothing, but it's basically that, you know, it, it just kind of struck me doors, you know, there is something in that, you know, and that, you know, 
maybe that's just the way God speaks to me, but that I just really felt like the, this is going to open doors, you know, and, and you, you'll remember this day, you know, in the future, because um, you'll look back and think, how did we get here? And it'll be for this moment, basically, and from what you've done with Rob and, you know, and stuff like that, you know. Um, this Thank is the you start. so much. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Amen. Mm. Amen. Now we got here, aren't we? <laughs> just a, uh, just real quick, just kind of dovetail off of what James was just sharing. Uh, this whole thing with doors. Um, uh, there's there's a repurposing that's happening. There's a repurposing that's happening. I mean, the just to share a little bit. I mean, uh, over here where we are, um, uh, the Lord uh, showed us a. Uh, Something I something I hadn't seen because um, I just wasn't familiar with it. Uh, but uh, but you know if you've done any uh, kind of uh, repurposing projects, you know doors can be repurposed, um, right? And so um, yeah, and it just and he is he's in the he's in the the midst right now of of revealing revealing to people the uh, you know this repurposing of doors. Um, and so uh, just and and then just to kind of go back to uh, I think what what Anka was saying is um, just how much this is how much this it's encouraging. I mean, it's encouraging us right now, obviously, and it's going to encourage so many more. Um, the 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 group that the, the Jen Jen's familiar with this group, but there's another group that just started up recently, and uh, they're just like just so hungry to see um, you know see something that uh, just break just kind of shatters the glass of the separation mindset, right? That's, uh, that's so prevalent, uh, it, you know, across the pond here. And, um, and so this is, yeah, this is, this is just amazing. So, yeah. So just, just want to, um, yeah, just, uh, say, you know, thank you for, um, thank you for responding. <laughs> Thank you for responding. That's right. Yeah. I, I would say everything you do, both of you do, embodies that break in the separation mindset. The fact that you're bringing business into ministry and, in, and, and looking at how can we kind of grow kingdom businesses in the whole dynamics of a ministry you know, instead of thinking, how can we build a ministry? It's like, how can we build life together, which for ordinary people is not ministry and life. It, it's, it's all in one. And, and that, and that's what you're doing basically with, with, with everything you're doing, basically with the gathering place and stuff like that, you know, it, it's making yourself available and just putting on a place, basically you just set, setting, setting yourself on a, you, you're just making it available aren't you and that and that's 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 really you know that that you know it it, it is breaking that you know and i would say what we would hard. Call... Yeah, on, sorry. everybody's heart on here is absolutely so incredibly huge and beautiful um mm -hmm. i mean it's just like boom 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 the hearts just keep going boom 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 exploding out and just hitting people in the forehead and the, and the mm. boom 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 it's just like it's like it's like you cannot get more and more you just keep being filled 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 and it's just hitting you from left and right behind and I'm, i got my little earbuds in and i'm listening to you sing and i feel like sometimes you're behind me and you're in front of me and you're over here you're up there and you're inside sometimes just coming out i just have to say i'm excited for the next song um and i just cannot wait to hear it <laughs> i get it yes thank you so much guys okay yeah grand finale <laughs> okay. this is called
I have arrived. I have been called to move a mountain. The trumpets have been calling for my veil to rip apart from all the darkness. The sounds are brewing to come forth. The moving clouds are gathering. The saints and angels are like drunkards and Holy Spirit is at home. No opposition can sustain the lame and undesirable chains that have been spoken in our veins and now are falling like the rain. Because oh. freedom has arrived and with her flavor all creation chants of one with image of a man that has been spoken from the start. No words can speak about this truth that lives inside the perfect bride. She has been stripped away from all the dust, and now in spirit she's rebirthed. She is in labor of the joy that Father has released upon her crown to be the only kingdom she will reign, together with Yeshua as the head. Wake up, myself. Come see what's at the dinner. The fullness of the Lamb is served as path to walk upon, as only planned. Do not be looking in disarray, do not be breathing others' air. Stay close to Father's breath, and in the spirit will rebirth. Move in the spirit and the water. Let your skin acknowledge heaven and your mind clear the notions of God within and God outside. The joy dance will immerse yourselves into the heaven DNA and your consciousness will reach upwardly into the sober minding of God's grace. Mountains will cry out and recognize that you're the sun, that they all have been longing to see him tall and fully reigning. So thank you, Father, for the rest. You have been rested in our chest. This is the temple you've been slaying before foundation to the end
Mm. Oh, I love that, Pam. The wine of global overtones. Yes. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much, guys. That's what it felt like. It felt like it was meant to be just a total global anthem, just an anthem. Oh, wow. Yeah, I feel incredibly blessed. <laughs> you guys are amazing. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, so we do want to give away some albums. <laughs> um, Nicole, did Nicole already get one? I can't remember. I think you, I think you did, but um, if you're still on Nicole, just message me or I'll message you. And um, yeah, is there anybody on here who didn't buy one? Because I would love to just bless you. I think all of you did though. <laughs> oh yes, okay, cool. We'll get you one, Andrew, that's awesome. Oh man, thank you guys so much. So, so much. Should, um, I halfway wanna just, yeah. Did you say it was just, on the, all the platforms, Jen? It will be. It just, So it takes a few days, but they've just messaged yeah. me today, like right before this, to let me know that it's it's through. So they did I'll like three days Apple of easier. review. So yeah, yeah it'll yeah. be on Apple and Spotify and all that stuff. And then, yeah, and then the digital downloads will be out and sent your way as well as the physical copies as soon as we get them. So just give us a little more grace. <laughs> so exciting. Oh, awesome. Yes, it is exciting. Thank you, Maddie. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. so, did you tell them about the website? Oh, yes. I didn't say anything about that. So um, this is kind of a, a big thing. So for those of you that don't know, Ken is um, TikTok famous, <laughs> should we say. <laughs> He's got like... <laughs> How many followers? It's ridiculous. He just teaches. He's just teaching on Jesus and breaking down history and just helping open up, give answers to people who are searching, you know? 115,000. 115,000, yeah. So anyway, so with that <laughs> and the response to linger alone, we just started really pressing and we're like, okay, Lord, what do you want us to do here? Because this is just, you know, we want to steward whatever this is. And so he's um, he's um, having us build a new website called Awake to Dream. And it's more of a community. And all it is, is what you're talking about, Anka, just a place to create space, to invite people in, to just become more, just whatever they need to be equipped, to be enriched, to be encouraged, to be brought freedom in ways that we can, whatever we have, you know, is that's what we're that's what we're creating this for to just give. So, um, so that will be coming. That's almost there. In about two but, weeks. Yeah. So. And Jennifer Arrington Music is going to be a portal attached live. onto there. So Jennifer Arrington Music will be on there. And there's there, we're going to have like if Shane or anybody who would want the chord charts or anything to play along or to like add to it or whatever, that's all going to be on there. There's a few of them on there anyway. And then stories and updates because I'm hoping to have video. Well, I'm going to have videos for all of these songs <laughs> as I stare down Anka and Steven. <laughs> but, <laughs> yes, we have another one in the, we have two more numbers actually. So it's all coming. It's all coming. But anyway, so yeah, if you want to be involved in updates with that, and then of course, like Puerto Rico, and, and as the Lord opens things up. And the album will be available for download. As soon as we can. As soon yeah. as we can on the website. But right now, like you can still pre-order. Yeah, that's um, true. If you want to. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think everybody here is ordering. Yeah, I think that. everyone here has it already. 
Uh, thank you guys so much for all the support. It's been, it's been huge. So I really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah. And Rob, you've, you've just been beyond, I didn't know what to expect with anything like this. You know, I've never, never done this before. never worked with anybody on anything like this. And Rob has just literally encouraged me every step of the way and just pulled out the gold, like I said, you know, so it's just been incredible in it for the long haul right yeah <laughs> there's definitely more coming that's for sure <laughs> but thank you all so much yeah awesome. then we just want to say thank you from uh for talbot i missed the first half i was doing some training so um we're going to be listening back for the first half of the album but phenomenal awesome. so really oh. really really powerful thank you guys yay and Aaron, so glad you was liked like, it. Aaron was like is that Jen singing he was made <laughs> so uh he awesome. was um, hey, bud. properly oh. loved it so thank you true blessings That's pair amazing. of you thank Absolutely you phenomenal thank really you. really amazing thank you so much really amazing thank just you the guys. peace of God is all over it absolutely yeah. You're resting in this peace and just excited by the different tones and the different voices and, you know, uh, amazing composition, uh, creative and, and inspirational. Really, really amazing. Amen. Thank you. Yeah. We're going to go to sleep to it. Guys. Night. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tell me about your dreams. <laughs> oh, love you guys so much. Thank you for all being here. And yeah, we'll stay in touch. Awesome. Thank you. Have a wonderful, wonderful night or rest of your day, wherever you are. So much love. <laughs> All right. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>